You don't just sleep to rest, you sleep to clean your brain. Every night, deep in the dark, your mind flushes out toxins, like a silent janitor sweeping through the corridors of your consciousness. But when that cleaning stops, the damage begins, silently, invisibly, years before you ever forget your own name. Alzheimer's might not begin with memory loss. It might start with trash your brain forgot to take out. For decades, scientists believed that the brain, our most precious organ, had no waste disposal system. Your heart, your liver, your muscles, all connected by the lymphatic system, a highway of cleanup crews ferrying waste away. But the brain? It sat behind the blood-brain barrier, sealed, protected, and apparently isolated. Until 2012. That year, a group of researchers made a discovery that changed neuroscience. They found a hidden network buried within the brain's tissue, an intricate system that pumps and filters a clear, life-preserving fluid. They called it the glymphatic system, a fusion of glial and lymphatic, and suddenly, the brain wasn't just a command center, it was a self-cleaning machine. How the glymphatic system works The glymphatic system is like a rinse cycle for your mind. It uses cerebrospinal fluid, a clear liquid that bathes the brain and spinal cord. Every night, while you sleep, this fluid pours through tiny channels between your brain cells, picking up toxic waste and flushing it out through your veins. That waste includes some of the most dangerous substances known to your brain. Beta amyloid, the sticky protein linked to Alzheimer's. Tau proteins, responsible for tangled neuron networks. Oxidized lipids and damaged proteins that gunk up communication. Cellular debris, the leftovers from a day of thinking, moving, reacting. And all of this is managed by glial cells, the brain's silent support crew, guiding the flow, protecting neurons, and keeping your mental environment clean. Think of them like nighttime street cleaners, scrubbing the streets while the city sleeps. Without this process, your brain becomes a clogged metropolis, choking on its own waste. Why deep sleep is critical. But here's the twist. This system only works when you're in deep sleep, not light sleep, not REM. Only in non-REM, slow-wave sleep, the kind that comes hours into the night, does the brain shift into cleaning mode. During deep sleep, your neurons shrink by up to 60%, creating wider channels between them. That extra space allows fluid to rush through, grabbing more toxins, more debris, more beta amyloid, and carrying it all away. If you don't reach deep sleep, the system stalls. You fall asleep. But your brain doesn't clean. It's like having a dishwasher that fills with soap but never spins the spray arms. Studies using mice showed that waste clearance increased 60% during deep sleep compared to wakefulness. And here's something even more fascinating. Your sleep position matters. Research shows that side sleeping may improve glymphatic drainage. That's how rodents naturally sleep. And in lab studies, side sleeping led to more efficient fluid movement when the system fails. Now, imagine this system starts failing. Maybe you sleep fewer hours. Maybe stress keeps you in lighter stages of sleep. Maybe your brain never enters that deep, restorative state. The cleaning slows. And the first trash to build up? Beta amyloid. This sticky protein gathers between neurons, forming plaques that block communication. Neurons can no longer speak to each other. Messages get lost, reactions slow, memories fade. Next comes tau protein. Unlike beta amyloid, tau builds up inside neurons, like twisted wires. These form neurofibrillary tangles, choking the cell from the inside. Eventually, the neuron dies, leaving behind a trail of malfunction and decay. The tragedy? This damage happens long before any symptoms appear. By the time memory loss becomes obvious, your brain has likely been silently suffering for over a decade. The silent damage. As waste builds up, your brain's immune cells, microglia, sound the alarm. They release inflammatory signals trying to contain the damage. But over time, chronic inflammation becomes its own threat. Imagine emergency sirens blaring constantly. Eventually, they stop helping and start hurting. This inflammation begins to damage healthy neurons too, especially in the hippocampus, the region responsible for forming and storing memories. You forget names. You lose direction in familiar places. You struggle with language, recognition, and eventually even identity. And all of this could begin 10, 15, even 20 years before a diagnosis. Alzheimer's doesn't start with forgetting birthdays. It starts with forgetting to clean. The good news? Your brain's trash system isn't broken. It's just waiting for your help. 
Yes, Alzheimer's is terrifying. Yes, waste buildup is real. But unlike many diseases that strike without warning, this one might actually be preventable through something as simple and accessible as sleep. Let's get into it. Can you fix the glymphatic system? First, let's be clear. You don't need more sleep. You need better sleep. The glymphatic system requires three things to operate at its best. Time in deep sleep, consistent timing across nights, and your body position. According to neuroscience research, the system revs up during non-REM deep sleep, but only when you stay in it long enough for cleaning cycles to complete. That's why quick naps don't cut it. And that's also why sleep fragmentation, waking up throughout the night, can be devastating. It keeps your brain in light mode, never switching on the rinse cycle. Think of it like running a washing machine that keeps restarting before the spin. Sleep habits that clean your brain. Let's get one thing straight. If you're chasing sharpness, focus, and a defense against future brain disease, you're not just trying to get more sleep. You're training your brain to sleep smarter. Glymphatic health is not about quantity. It's about consistency, timing, and quality. Let's break that down. 1. 7 to 9 hours isn't optional. It's biological law. You've heard the recommendation. But what's rarely mentioned is why that range exists. Your brain follows a multi-phase cleaning cycle. It doesn't flush everything out at once. It moves through phases, starting with slow buildup, entering deep rinse mode, and finally completing its flush during later non-REM stages. Sleep less than six hours? You might not even reach the phase where cerebrospinal fluid kicks into full gear. Studies from Washington University found that beta amyloid levels were 25 to 30% higher in people who slept poorly just one night. Now multiply that effect by weeks, months, years. Two, consistency beats chaos. The body doesn't understand catch-up sleep. You can't pull all-nighters Monday to Thursday and expect Friday night to make up for it. Your brain runs on a circadian clock, a precise 24-hour rhythm that controls when hormones rise and fall, when cells repair themselves, and when your glymphatic system activates. Go to bed at 10 p.m. one night and 2 a.m. the next, you're throwing that rhythm into chaos. Even if you sleep the same number of hours, your brain never aligns with its natural cycle, and waste clearance suffers. In long-term studies, people with inconsistent bedtimes showed poorer memory, higher inflammation markers, and elevated neurodegeneration risks, regardless of age. Consistency isn't boring. It's your brain's favorite song. Play it on repeat. 3. Your position matters more than you think. It sounds almost silly. But how you sleep physically affects your glymphatic performance. In rodent studies published in the Journal of Neuroscience, researchers found that side sleeping improved waste clearance significantly compared to sleeping on the back or stomach. Why? Side sleeping likely allows gravity to aid fluid flow through the paravascular channels, the narrow tunnels between arteries and veins that cerebrospinal fluid uses as it moves through the brain. Humans, like rodents, evolved to favor side sleeping. In fact, nearly 75% of adults prefer the side naturally. 4. Lights out, brain on. You may think watching Netflix before bed is harmless, but the blue light from screens suppresses melatonin, the hormone that triggers deep sleep, by over 60%. Even a bedside lamp delays melatonin release. And if your room's too warm, forget it. Your body needs to cool down by 1 to 2 degrees Celsius for deep sleep to begin. That's why sleep experts recommend setting your thermostat to around 65 degrees Fahrenheit and making your room as dark as a cave. 5. Alcohol, the false ally. You've probably heard someone say, alcohol helps me sleep. Yes, it might help you fall asleep faster. But once you're out, it disrupts your REM cycles, shatters sleep architecture, and prevents your brain from diving deep into cleaning mode. Even small amounts, a glass of wine with dinner, can reduce slow-wave sleep by up to 40%. Alzheimer's doesn't just appear in old age, it builds slowly, day after day, from the way you treat your brain tonight. The midnight scrolling, the three-hour sleep, the alcohol nightcaps, the skipped REM. It all adds up, but so does healing. One night of solid sleep flushes out a day's worth of neural waste. Seven nights in a row, your brain gets back on track. One year of consistent sleep hygiene? You might just change your entire cognitive destiny. Your brain works hard all day. Let it recover all night. If you want to keep discovering the hidden systems inside your brain and body, and how to protect them, Hit subscribe now. Science is just getting started. And your mind? It deserves to be clean, clear, and ready for the future.